Hartford man is under investigation for killing a toddler. He has turned himself in. Thanks for joining us. I'm Aaron Connolly. And I'm Stephanie Simone. Bond was set today for Melvin Daniels, who police say hit the little girl and kept going last month. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Susan Raff is live on New Britain Avenue in Hartford, where the child was killed. Susan. Stephanie, that tragic accident happened here on New Britain Avenue outside the Top Cat laundromat. Police say the toddler had been inside the laundromat and came out the front doors when she was hit by a car. And they say the person driving that car was Melvin Daniels. You're being held in custody based on an inability to post the bond, the three hundred thousand dollar bond. Melvin Daniels has been under investigation for the past month. Today, he surrendered to police. Daniels is charged with killing 19-month-old Camilla Elizabeth Ramirez Carcamo. The toddler had been inside the Top Cat Super Laundromat around 11 o'clock the night of June 3rd. Police say she walked out the open door and wandered into the street where she was hit by a car. She was rushed to Connecticut Children's where she died. If you are released on bond today, uh, you must come to court on your next court date. If you don't, you can be ordered rearrested and charged with a separate crime of failure to appear. The car that hit the child was a 2013 black BMW. It was found in New Haven. Even though police had the car, they didn't know if Daniels was the driver. The car also had an illegally tinted windshield. When being interviewed, Daniels told police, he said he had been involved in a crash in a prior year. Daniels is a Hartford resident. There are no pending criminal cases against him, but he does have a conviction for failing to appear and disorderly conduct. The judge called his criminal past limited, but given the seriousness of this crime, he kept Daniels' bond at 300000 and said when he is released, he must wear electronic monitoring. Daniels' brother and other family members were in court. His brother did not want to talk when he left the courthouse. As for the toddler's family, we did not see their parents or the family members inside the court today. And Hartford police are telling us it is still too early to determine whether there could be potentially filed charges against the parents for what happened here in Hartford. For now, we are live in Hartford. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Susan.